morning, a man is under arrest after police say he shot at officers in Brooklyn. Today, New York's Miles Miller, live in Bedford Stuyvesant this morning with those details. Miles? Gus, good morning. Yeah, that shooting happening around 1.45 this morning here at Throop Avenue and Myrtle Avenue in Bedford-Stuyvesant. I, right behind me, I count about uh, two evidence markers, which could uh, mean two shell casings from this incident. Police are telling me uh, that uh, they came here to break up a large crowd. They were met uh, by a gunman who had fired a gun at them. Police went after the suspect and were able to arrest him. We're told he is a 32-year-old male and charges are pending. Now, this uh, is being investigated by the NYPD's Force Investigation Division. This morning's shooting comes as the city has surpassed 777 shootings for the year. That's more than the total number of shootings for all of last year. Now, News 4 has learned just last week there were 32 shootings compared to 19 during the same period last year. We are talking about 36 people shot on the streets of New York yesterday, uh, last week, and we're talking about seven people killed as a result of shootings in this city, something that uh, we expect the mayor and the police commissioner to talk about Monday morning. We are live in the Bedford-Stuyvesant section of Brooklyn. I'm Miles Miller. We get today in New York. Bye. Lydia She's in Bedford-Stuyvesant this morning with the latest for us. Good morning, Lydia. Good morning, Kristen. No one was injured in this early morning shooting that happened around 2 a.m. right here at, near the intersection of Myrtle and Throop Avenues. You can take a look at the scene that's behind me. Police have just recently started to clear this scene, but they have been here throughout the morning investigating. Now, police say that they are responding to a crowd here. You can see from the video they were uh, the, the aftermath of their response, and they say that when they were responding here, they saw a 32-year-old man with a firearm and when they went to go arrest him an officer fired one round the suspect was taken into custody and charges are now pending you can also see in the video from early this morning that there was a firearm that was recovered here at the scene now this officer involved shooting comes as there's an increase in gun violence around the city in the first six months of this year there was an increase of about 46 percent in shootings over the same time period last year and as of last week there were 745 shootings so far in this year 2020 and just this weekend there were four people shot dead in just a 12 hour period that's the latest here from bedford stuyvesant lydia who for new york one send it back to you kristen